so for today's video I'm gonna be trying these kiss press on nails and their glue on nails the last video I did I did the ones with the stickers the impress ones and not the greatest experience it's okay but I'm gonna try these out and um, the first time I did it, so this is the second time like ever in like the last 10 years I'm doing press-ons. Um, I used the Hanakoko ones first and those were amazing, but they were long. So I'm trying out some short ones, maybe for like every day and see how I like it. I got a couple new things um, from Timu just because I've been, you know, into press-on nails. And this is just like a nail... I guess a motorized nail file and this is like four dollars on two and i got some i don't even know 10 pack of nail files i guess it's a hundred and 180 grit but this is like the right one for easily like filing plastic nails yeah so this is really cheap four dollars and four dollars i can link it down below if you want but yeah i'm just using all these things and I'm gonna use mostly everything from the kit. I did buy some glue on Amazon, but I'll use the ones in the kit. So I've already kind of prepped my nails. I've filed them, I pushed on my cuticles. I didn't rough them up yet. I, was, I just wanted to show you. So what I'm gonna do is just like quickly rough it up. And with this kind of grit, it's kind of easy to like go crazy. So you just want to do a slight roughing up. I could actually probably use the tool for this, but I feel like I have more control with just a file. So with the Hana Coco ones, I did get like a week wear out of it. And I did have to reattach some. So I think that's just the nature of press-ons. Like you're going to have to carry a little bottle of glue with you everywhere, or even maybe those adhesive stickers. I also bought that on Timu. I think it was like $2 for like a hundred of those sticky tabs. Just for like little emergencies. Actually, the sticky tabs are probably better to keep in your bag. It's less messy like if you're doing it in the car or something. But yeah, so I kind of roughed them up. I'm going to use the alcohol prep pad. I just have a bunch of these so that I can use it throughout the process just taking off any nail filings and just make sure your hands are clean so I'm doing this at like what time is it 9 50 at night because it's better to do it right before bed so you can let the glue cure all night long without any water it's I haven't actually read the directions but <laughs> it's recommended that you don't get your hands wet for at least a couple hours which is kind of hard to do in the middle of the day, right? So, so this set is really cute. I'm going to a, like a mermaid party for a little girl this weekend. So this is how I pick this, this set versus the other one. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and pick my sizes. So what I learned from the last time I did this was you wanna make sure you go a little bit smaller if anything and there's a there's numbers on the back like this is size one that's too big so I will go down to size two Gosh, am I blind I think that's zero okay this is a two still too big but let's see let's find the three the numbers are so small like I don't even have that bad eyes and it's hard to see so this is a two. I'm just gonna layer them. So, okay, so three is good. It's to this, all the way to the side on this side and this side. I could try the four just to see, but yeah, the four actually is a better fit. Can you see? So last time I did, um, I used two big, I went with the bigger of the two and they popped off easier so i want to go down so this is a three and you might want to write this down i guess later so that if you ever use the same type of set you don't have to 
to spend so much time sizing it. Okay, so three and three. I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of this and come back. Okay, so I have all my nails picked out and I do have to adjust some. So even though this is the smallest one, it's a little bit big. So just really slightly, like I could probably keep it, but I will just follow it a little bit on the side. So you kind of just want to go through each one, making sure the nail bed matches. And just a little trick is like, I already pushed on my cuticles, but if you want to, you know, really make it match, you just push it down a little with the edge. So that one's okay. This one's okay. This one's a little big. So I'm going to follow it down. You can eat, also follow this part down too, but these actually kind of match. I have very like rounded, I guess, like cuticle lines. So when it's too square, it looks weird. So the next thing I'm gonna do is get this electric nail file. And this one came with a bunch of heads, like a buffer, some smoother files, this metal one. But this one seems the like most abrasive, I guess. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like file the inside just like the part that's gonna go over my nail with this. So you see how it's really glossy and shiny right now? We're gonna like just roughen it up just a little bit. So yeah, it's just slightly roughened. And when you put it on, you won't be able to see from this side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this for all the nails. Okay, so this is an extra step. I just bought this and so I'm gonna use it. Um, this is a Sauvignon Nail Prep Dehydrator and the pH Bond. To be honest, I have no idea what the pH Bond does, but the dehydrator is just like an extra step. Instead of using an alcohol pad, I don't know, I think it might just do a little bit better of a job. So I'm just going to quickly brush this on all my nails. Like the key to making your nails last for it any application like regular nail polish, um, gel, it's really the prep. If you don't prep correctly, then it, it just doesn't stay on. Like one time I forgot to alcohol wipe my nails when I did um, the horror gels and they popped off so easily. And I was like, what happened? And I remembered I didn't alcohol wipe my nails. So it probably had some kind of oil or whatever on it. I guess I'll do the pH one just for fun. This one kind of stinks, so just FYI. They're both very thin. Okay, and so now I'm gonna use the glue. This was super hard to open. I had to like use a little scissors and cut over here. Okay, twist it off, twist. I have to cut it. Okay, so I'm gonna put glue on my nail. Not too much, but I, want, I do wanna get it all the way to about one mil millimeter of the cuticle and the sides and the tip. And then I'm gonna put some on the nail also. Not a lot, just a little. And then when you put the nail on, you wanna start at the cuticle line, push, and then work your way down and then hold for five seconds. I might actually need more. So what you don't want is to get air bubbles, especially in a sheer design because you'll be able to see through. It's hard to know how much, like enough pressure. See, I think I have air bubbles in there. So it's handy to have some alcohol pads because once you get the glue on your hand and then you try to like touch the top, you'll get the glue on the top. So, okay, so I guess it looks okay. I think there's an air bubble, but I don't know. It looks all right. Oh, 
you know what? You're supposed to do your thumbs last. Rookie mistake. Because now it's going to be hard to do, well, at least it's my left hand. But if I put it on my right hand, it'll be hard to like press down everything. So let's do pinkies first. So I'm putting a small glob of glue and then a small dot in there. Okay, I can already tell I put too much, so maybe I should wipe off the excess before pushing. Okay, not bad. I think five seconds is really the key. Okay. So go all the way to the cuticle line and then lay down. See with the design on it, you can't tell if there's an air bubble or not. So most of the glue is going to be concentrated in the center. And if you get any glue on the top, make sure to just wipe it off. I did get some on the inside too. Okay, not bad. So pinky first. <laughs> it's also weird um, using these drugstore nails. They are so much thinner than the Hanakoko ones that I don't know. It seems like so cheap. I mean, it is cheap, right? It's like I think this set was like seven ninety nine. But you can really tell the difference between like, I guess like a handmade nail press on versus drugstore. So I'm not expecting like these to last like as long and I'm definitely not planning to reuse this. I can use the other nails though. It just is like the B set, you know, like the not perfect size ones where you have to file it a little more. This is so fun though, to have it like all done for you. And this is pretty fast. Like this is only because I'm only going slow because I don't really know what to do. <laughs> it's like an experiment for me, but I'm sure if you do this all the time, it'll be really quick. Like now that I know how much glue to put on, it's a lot easier. And I love how it's flush. So I was able to cut my nails all the way down versus when I use the Impress ones. And so it just is a lot more hygienic to me also. There's nowhere to get like stuff, lint stuck or dirt stuck and you can wash them really well. So I kind of put a lot on my thumb because I don't want to get an air bubble. It did kind of go on the side though, but just wipe it off. So, okay, I'm just gonna close this, hopefully. I did buy some on Amazon, like other little ones that I'm gonna keep in my bag. Hopefully, I don't know, I haven't opened this, but hopefully it's open already. I don't need to like cut it. Or maybe I'll keep the sticky tabs, like I was saying earlier, in my bag so I can just stick it on and then fix it when I get home. But yeah, I mean, they look pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and file them down. So when you use like plastic nails, there's like that little tip. This one might have a little glue on it. Hopefully it'll come off later. I'm just gonna file it because it's way too long for me. <laughs> so she like even my last set, I filed the thumbs shorter just because I don't know, I need functional thumbs, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and file these down and come back. Okay, so I filed them down to a length that I like. And if you get glue like stuck, like if you have an excess of glue underneath, you can just use a file to like help push your skin down gently, of course. 
it'll also loosen up as you shower and you know get your hands wet but you just want to try to avoid water for at least an hour but i'm gonna try not to like get my hands wet until tomorrow morning if i can help it i really like these came out kind of cute not too crazy with just a couple of accent nails and even though there is a couple air bubbles i don't know if you can see hmm. maybe they went away um, i did get a little glue on here but otherwise it's a pretty good set like it looked better when i washed my hands and i moisturized them but yeah so i will come on here again and let you know how these work out during the week and how long they last and yeah see you in a little bit okay so now we're two weeks after i applied the nails and these have been amazing so two weeks after you can kind of see where it's like you can see the air bubbles like right there and of course it's like growing out um there's almost all of them have a little bit of air bubbles but you only can really see it on the solid colors like of course you can't see through this this one it does have an air bubble but then you with the design you really can't tell and you really don't notice like i i noticed the air bubbles but i don't think anyone else does and yeah it's just been so good like i can't believe these lasted two weeks um maybe one week after i put them on i started to notice some of the air bubbles and i mean that's just from like using the nails and like being super hard on them but you know even like my obviously my most used fingers it's not lifting off over here so i really had no hair pulling like i did have a little bit more from like here where my nail was growing out a little bit um that kind of caught on my hair a little bit like so little though like even when i do like the dashing diva stickers and i do the the base or the builder gel and the top coat those last the longest for me and even those like start hair pulling like maybe around the, the second week but yeah these have totally lasted they still look nice and shiny which is amazing one thing i found that was interesting is that the tips did wear down a little so i don't know if you can tell so this is the original shape right it's kind of a square-ish shape and if you notice a lot of them are rounded shape now just because with daily use the plastic like wore off and then it was to the point maybe like a week and a half where i just like kind of fouled it to make it a more square edge again and then it kind of came back rounded so i mean that's it's plastic it's a thin plastic you can't really expect it to be like super durable but yeah see the nails are like round like an oval and it's supposed to be square other than that like they've been really comfortable um you can see they grew quite a bit well not too bad maybe like a millimeter or so and now i'm ready to take them off just because i'm kind of over it the design and once this part starts touching i guess the edge i don't know i like pick at it like i find myself just like picking at it because my nails are just too long so i really want to take them off and put on a new press on set um this would be the first time really like trying to get these off without having them like be popping off so i looked at the back and yeah it says to use the kiss glue off remover which i do not have but i was thinking of maybe trying this this is not like an acetone remover so i don't know how that's gonna work but i'll try using this and slightly peeling the not peeling it but you know getting a little edge like this and then getting the the solution underneath and then if that doesn't work then i'll use a glass container and fill it with acetone and then soak that. i'm gonna use this little orange stick this super tiny and yeah this whole week i have not been gentle on my nails um, i've been doing my usual workouts and the one thing I did change though, because I was committing to have long nails for a period of time, was I got dishwashing gloves, which 
really you should have anyways but I did not do that and so I had to buy dishwashing gloves and it's been a, a life changer like I don't know why I didn't get them before I think I've tried it before but I only use like big size gloves and so it was really hard to wash the dishes but I bought a small size and it fit better and it was just so much more easier to like wash the dishes so I'm just lifting a little corner and I'm going to put another drop on each nail to be honest I'm like a just rip it off kind of person but since the horror makes such a like easy product to use I've been definitely using that more like if I have to soak my nails in like something like even acetone, which I know will definitely work, I just don't want to sit there for 10 minutes with my hand in the water. So I'm just going to kind of repeat this process, lift a little, try to get some of that liquid in there and put more on and I'll kind of fast forward so you don't have to watch too much of this. I can see it working though. So I think it'll work. So halfway through the process, I decided I'm not going to fast forward while you guys are watching. We're just going to get to the end. So I don't know what's in the Ohora Easy Pro Easy Peel Remover, but I'm guessing maybe it does have a little bit of acetone because it does kind of dry a little bit. It's oily and moisturizing, but it does kind of dry where I have to keep reapplying it. And also the nails kind of break apart. So I bet it has a little bit of acetone. So this does work. Weirdly, this thumb is like the hardest one to get off. I must have put a lot of glue on this one. But yeah, other, otherwise, I probably did the, the process of lifting a little and putting more remover on maybe like five or six times. And now we're here. So just trying to get this one off. I think I put more glue on my right hand, just anticipating that um, I use it more and so it'll be more likely to pop off. Yeah, this one is super stuck on there. Yeah, see how once that gets under there, it really just loosens it. So I'm guessing it must have acetone. I did try to look for the ingredients in this product once, but I couldn't find anything. And so yeah. Here's the nails. Um, I'll go ahead and wash and dry them and then we can see if it's like damaging or not. So I washed and dried my hands thoroughly and this is what it looks like. Um, it did damage my nails just a little bit just for me being rough. Um, but also keep in mind that I did rough up the nail bed before I put the press-ons on so that the glue would stick more. So it was not smooth and you know perfect to begin with so actually this is not bad and with this texture um it's actually ready to go you know i just have to clean up the cuticle line a little bit and this is kind of the texture i on this side that i kind of want for the next one which is going to be this and i'm super excited because it's so pretty but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video